Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to answer an interesting question today using combinations. So in this problem, I have a local restaurant with 11 items on its dollar menu. Now suppose I want to go in there and have five items. And how many different ways can I have a five item meal? Well, let's see quickly why this might be a combination problem by looking at what exactly a combination involves. Well, basically when you look at a combination, you're selecting items, but no item is selected more than once. More importantly, with combinations, the order really doesn't matter. Let's think real quick why this might apply to our problem. So, as I'm choosing items off the menu, I'm only going to choose, you know, the item probably once. I'm not going to go with all french fries or all hamburgers. More importantly, the order really doesn't matter. For example, if I order fries, a hamburger, a drink, an apple pie, and an ice cream cone, well, that's going to be the same as ordering an ice cream cone, an apple pie, fries, drink, and a hamburger. The order really isn't going to matter. I'll still get the same meal either way. All right, now let's get on to the formula on how we will count up all of these different ways. So in this formula of NCR, I first want to know how many total things are in the group. This is the n, and it shows up on top as n factorial and in the bottom. I also want to know how many things am I selecting from this group. That's what the r is, and it shows up in two places on the bottom. One, when you do n minus r and take the factorial, and one, when it's just r factorial. Okay, so let's go back to our problem and see if we can identify the total number in the group and how many we are selecting from that group. Okay, so at this restaurant, there are 11 items on the dollar menu. That's the entire group that we will be selecting from. Let's see, how many things am I selecting? Oh, looks like we want to form these five item meals. So I'm selecting a group of five. Let's go ahead and plug that into the formula and see what this looks like. All right, so on top we have 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 5 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial. Now you could actually take 11 factorial, figure what that out, and also do the same for on the bottom, but I really recommend expanding this out and then canceling out common terms. Let's do that and see what we get. So on top, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lots of stuff. All right? Here I have 11 minus 5 factorial. Well, 11 minus 5 is 6, and 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then, of course, 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, when everything is expanded out like this, notice how there's lots of common terms in the top and bottom that you can get rid of by canceling. Go ahead and do so. So, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll cancel with 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you go to cancel these other terms, you may have to borrow from a few of these numbers. For example, if I want to cancel out this 5, I could recognize that 10 is the same as 2 times 5. So it's like there's a 5 hiding in there. So I can cancel out the 5, and ooh, looks like we can cancel out this 2 as well. Let's see what else we have. So if I want to get rid of this 4, I can imagine 8 as 2 times 4. And then in that sense, get rid of the 4s. All right, let's see. Still need to get rid of this 3. Well, fortunately, 9 is the same as 3 times 3, so we can get rid of one of those guys. Now, the canceling process can be very tricky, but pay close attention to what is left over. So let's see, I have an 11 times, looks like there's a 3 times a 2, times a 7, looks pretty good, and on the bottom, just a 1. So then we can go through these number, multiplying things together. So I have 11 times 3, that's 33, times 2, that'd give us a 66, times 7, 
and then basically take care of 66 times 7. Let's see, when I do that, I get 462. So this 462 represents all of the different five item meals I can get if the dollar menu has 11 items. Looks pretty good. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.